Hi, I'm Emily, your safety trainer, and in today's video, we'll be talking about heat illness prevention hydration. As the temperature rises in the spring and summer months, it's essential to ensure you're hydrated properly. Dehydration can lead to heat illness, which can make for an uncomfortable and sometimes dangerous situation. Knowing what being hydrated and dehydrated means, recognizing common symptoms associated with dehydration, making sure you drink enough water throughout your day, and avoiding certain drinks when working in hot conditions are all part of diligently keeping yourself hydrated amidst increased temperatures. And finally, if you suspect someone of being dehydrated, it's wise to take immediate action to remedy the situation. And this lesson will cover all these important topics related to staying hydrated during warm weather. Staying hydrated is one of the most fundamental aspects of staying healthy, but many people don't understand what it actually means. To be hydrated or to stay hydrated means to keep your body supplied with enough fluids and electrolytes for it to function properly. So don't forget to drink up. Dehydration is when your body has used more fluid than what it has taken in. Left untreated, it can cause unfavorable effects to your well being. Luckily, dehydration can be caused by several factors that are often easy to fix and address. Excessive sweating, urinating more, like when certain medications are used, fever and other illnesses such as diarrhea, vomiting, and bleeding are all sources of dehydration. There are also more common reasons why people become dehydrated. They forget to drink enough water throughout the day or don't feel like drinking because they're feeling under the weather. The severity of dehydration has three levels, mild, moderate, and severe, and each will have different symptoms you may recognize in yourself or somebody else. Dehydration is something that can affect anyone, but some people are more at risk than others. This includes people who are older and those who are ill or have a chronic condition like diabetes. It can also apply to people taking certain medications or those who are physically active. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. Keeping hydrated is an important part of maintaining your well being. If you're not getting enough fluids, the various symptoms associated with minor to moderate dehydration can be a reminder to reach for that glass of water. Common signs may include feeling thirsty, experiencing a dry or sticky mouth, urinating less frequently, which could be caused by your body trying to conserve fluid, and darker urine color. Light-colored urine generally indicates that you are well hydrated, while dark urine is more concentrated and can indicate how dehydrated you are. Additionally, other physical signs can include dry and or cool skin, headaches, and even muscle cramps. Common signs of severe dehydration include very dark urine, non-urinating, dizziness, rapid heartbeat and breathing, sunken eyes, confusion, irritability, lack of energy, feeling sleepy, and fainting. Listen closely to your body. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, then make sure you're getting enough fluids. If you're working in the heat, be sure to stay hydrated. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health suggests that employees involved in moderate tasks for less than two hours in the heat should drink one eight ounce cup of water every 15 to 20 minutes, or about three quarters to a full quart of water per hour. While it's important to make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids, it's likewise essential not to overdo it. Taking in more than 1.5 quarts of liquid per hour can lead your body's salt concentration too low, potentially resulting in a medical emergency. Be sure to drink regularly and keep an eye on how much you're consuming. Your well being depends on it. Staying hydrated is an important part of keeping your body healthy, especially in hot conditions. According to the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, it's important not to only drink water, but also to avoid certain fluids while working outdoors. This includes energy drinks, alcohol, and even soda or juice if recommended by a healthcare provider. If you have any questions about staying properly hydrated, do not hesitate to speak with your medical provider for assistance.
Dehydration can be dangerous, so it's important to take the necessary precautions if you see someone or are displaying minor or major signs of dehydration. To properly handle minor signs of dehydration, make sure to get some water or an electrolyte drink as soon as possible. In the case of moderate signs, have the person in question sit in a cool and shaded area while they remove any extra clothing, like PPE and hats, or loosen it if needed. Give them something to drink, such as a water or an electrolyte beverage, and alert any supervisors that may need to know. If there is cramping present, have them rest. Depending on the individual, they may wish to also do some light stretching and massaging of the affected muscles. Lastly, medical assistance should be sought if deemed necessary. If you detect the signs of severe dehydration in yourself or someone else, it's important that you take quick action. It's best to first alert your supervisor and then follow up with a call to emergency medical services. Be sure to listen carefully to their instructions, as they may provide effective ways of helping the individual. If possible, move the person into a shaded or cool area and help them remove any heavy clothing items like PPE and hats. By applying ice packs or wet cloths onto critical areas such as wrists, collarbones, armpits, inner thighs, neck, and face, we can also work to cool down their body temperature. Lastly, if they are conscious enough to consume liquids by mouth safely, provide them with sips of water or an electrolyte drink. Remember not to give them large amounts, since this might trigger vomiting, which could lead further to fluid loss. With temperatures reaching or exceeding 80 degrees Fahrenheit, it's important to stay properly hydrated. You should keep in mind that drinking plenty of fluids throughout the day and taking routine breaks will significantly reduce your chances of becoming dehydrated, which could lead to medical conditions related to heat illness. However, if you are unsure about the water supply for your workplace or have questions regarding hydration safety, please do reach out to your supervisor. They should be able to assist and advise you. That's all for today's lesson. If you like this video, look for us on social media and remember, stay safe out there.